This video walks through the process of installing Maven 3 on Ubuntu. For the first step, let's add in a custom repository. Next, let's update our packages. And finally, let's install Maven 3. This is an unsigned package, so just click yes when it asks you to install the packages without verification. Once the process is finished, you'll need to source a file in Etsy Profiles D. So here it is. Etsy profile.d maven.sh. So now you should be able to run Maven. Let's take one step further and install git. So sudo apt get install git dash core. So this will install git. Now that Maven and git are installed, let's clone a repository. So I already have the URL for a repository on my clipboard. This is for Commons Lang. This is the GitHub mirror of the Commons Lang subversion repository. So if we clone this repository, we should be able to change directories into that cloned repository, like so, and run maven clean install. While this seems like a trivial package, it does save time. And I've done this about a thousand times, so I no longer want to download a Maven zip file or a Maven tarball, unpack it, create the symbolic link manually, create a file in the Etsy profile maven.sh, figure out all the environment variables. The other reason I did this is because Maven 3 is nowhere to be found on Ubuntu. Ubuntu is great, but they have some different ideas about how Java packages should be packaged, and I'm really not interested in changing the way that Maven interacts with the repository. If you look at some of the stuff they're doing, they're, they're like rewriting the version numbers and POMs. They're, they're changing POMs and repackaging everything. I'm really just interested in using the standard Maven install. And I think that the way forward for this, and my recommendation to anyone installing Maven on a Linux distribution is to use a custom package like the one that I just created or just download the archive from Apache.